Well, making places, I think it's everyone's own interpretation. I think what it means is that you can create the environment you want to be in and that modularity enables that. You will notice that over time, uh, the workspace is transforming. A lot of people tend to now work in cafe spaces where it's a bit more informal. And these are things that become much more central in the design of future of workspaces, to focus on the need of human. And we are very tangible people. We happen to appear in the same space. So space and interactions are very important here. The topic is the third space. It's the space between home and the office, where people are interacting and that's an important part of the process. You know, share a meeting, share lunch, share a coffee, and share ideas. If you look how you work and how you live, maybe you can remind to a plaza in a town or to a lobby in a hotel, all these places are changing and are part of this third place between home and office. And what you see here at the booth is exactly this type of place we would like to create and to offer. And especially in a world where everything is modular, everything is flexible, you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. And so you just use a system that you're going to reuse, transform, change. And I think that's perfect for what's happening in the world at the moment. So in this case, we try to utilize the potential of flexibility and uh, to able to change a condition using the same system that could be used over a longer period of time. And this will address our circularity and sustainability concern that we have together right now. Of course, you can already customize a lot with the uh, original elements, but I think there is a great need from our users, especially also the ones that use it for years, to have new ideas, to have new implementation. Our furniture is quite old, it's more than 50 years old, but it's still supporting now this change in our workplaces and in our home base. USM is amazing. Its modularity enables it to do so many things. So I think the limit is the imagination. I mean, you can build up whatever you want.